The Blue Jays are going down memory lane this weekend, celebrating the 25th anniversary of their back-to-back -back World Series wins with many of the players that contributed to those incredible 1992 and 1993 seasons. Some memories of the two series wins, both in six games, over Atlanta and Philadelphia, 1993, Game 6. Jays 8, Phillies 6 One of the lasting images for Canadian baseball fans, Joe Carter celebrating his World Series winning homer in 1993, Mark Duncan, the Associated Press, Philadelphia closer Mitch Williams comes on to pitch the bottom of the ninth with his team leading 6-5. Williams opened the inning by walking Ricky Henderson. He uses a slide step delivery to counter Henderson's speed, something he'd never done previously in his career. Devin White flies out. Paul Molitor singles. Joe Carter comes up next and hits a three-run homer to hand Toronto its second straight World Series title. Blue Jays radio voice Tom Cheek utters his famous touch I'm all Joe, Hall, Carter joins Bill Mazeroski as one of only two players to win a World Series with a homer in the bottom of the 9.1992, Game 6. Jays 4, Braves 3, 11 innings, with the game tied 2-2 in the top of the 11th Dave Winfield, who had gone hitless in four previous at-bats, doubles down the left field line off Charlie Librant, scoring two runs. It's Winfield's first World Series extra base hit. The Braves get one run back in the bottom of the inning and have the speedy Otis Nixon at the plate. Jays manager Cito Gaston removes lefty Jimmy Key and summons Mike Timlin from the pen. Gaston and Carter warn everyone to be aware of a possible bunt from Nixon. After fouling off the first pitch, Nixon bunts and Timlin fields the ball cleanly to Carter for the series winning out. Gaston becomes the first African-American manager to win a World Series. Article continued below 1993, Game 3. Jays 10, Phillies 3 Gaston is forced to sit one of his regulars with the series shifting to a National League park and no designate hitter being he used. He decides to go with Paul Molitor at first base and sit L batting champion John Olerud.363. The move creates a stir, but Molitor goes 3 for 4.1993, Game 4. Jays 15, Phillies 14 Hardy a pitching duel, this game sets three new series records, longest game, 414, total runs scored in a single game, 29, and runs scored by a losing team, 14. In addition, Charlie Williams becomes the first African-American home plate umpire in a World Series game.1992, Game 2. Jays 5 Braves 4 During the National Anthems prior to the game, the U.S. Marine Corps accidentally flies the Canadian flag upside down. The Marines apologize for the error. The Jays trail by a run in the ninth inning but, with Derek Bell aboard after a walk, third baseman Ed Sprague drills a two-run homer off Jeff Reardon, then baseball's all-time saves leader. It comes just after Cheek, in the broadcast booth, quips, watch him hit a homer, 1992, Game 3, Jays 3, Braves 2 article continued Bella Witt might have been one of the greatest defensive plays in World Series history, if they used replay at the time. With two Braves, Deion Sanders and Terry Pendleton, aboard, David Justice ropes a fly to deep center. Toronto's Devin White made a leaping grab against the wall for the first out. Pendleton, thinking the fly would be a base hit, runs past Sanders and is ruled out. Jay's first baseman John Olerud takes the cutoff throw from Roberto Alomar and tosses it to Kelly Gruber at third base, trapping Sanders in a rundown. Sanders dives back to second just as Gruber lunges at him, clipping Sanders' heel. It's a triple play, which replays back up, but umpire Bob Davidson rules Sanders safe. Mark Zwilinski is a sports reporter based in Toronto. Follow him on Twitter, at MarkZwil.